Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use the logic gates in the Contraptions DLC of Fallout 4. With the new Contraptions DLC, we finally get access to logic gates and can now get our electrical engineering on. In Fallout 4, the logic gates have two ports. They have an input port, which is red, and an output port, which is black. Now, typically with a logic gate, there are two signals that will go in and one signal that will come out of a gate, with the exception of a not gate, but we'll get to that in a minute. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take two power lines and run them through a switch and run them into this gate. Now, this first gate here is an OR gate, and then I'm going to take the output and run it to this light box. With an OR gate, if one input or the other input is on, it will return an output of on. So if you have both on, or one, or the other, it's on. Now with an AND gate, the second one here, both signals must be on, the first and the second. The third gate we have is called an XOR gate, which is an exclusive OR gate, which means it's one or the other input, but not both, will return an on signal. So you can see here, I'll just flip this switch and there the XOR gate is now on. There are four more gates to deal with, but they take a little bit more wiring, so you just have to hang on for just a moment. Whew, okay, so that took a bit of doing. But now we've got all seven of the gates that are available in this new expansion. We have the AND gate, the OR gate, and the XOR gate, but we also now have the NOT gate, the NAND gate, the NOR gate, and finally the XNOR gate. The problem with the last four is that they have to get their input from the output of the first three. I can't imagine why that would be confusing to you, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So for the NOT gate here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the output of my AND gate to the input of the NOT gate. And now what you'll see here is even though the output of the AND gate is off, the output of the NOT gate is on because of course it's not off logic. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the outputs of my first two gates to the inputs of my last four. So this is going to look a little bit messy. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to go over what the other four gates are. So the NOT gate takes an input and does whatever it it's not. So an on means an off and an off means an on. So it's just a straight up inverter. We have the NAND gate, which is basically a NOT AND gate, so it does whatever an AND gate doesn't do. Uh, the NOR gate does whatever uh, an OR gate doesn't do. And the XOR gate does whatever, uh, sorry, the XNOR gate, pardon me, does whatever the XOR gate doesn't do. Huh. All right, so now that we're getting all these connected, the other thing you need to know is that there's problems with power. So you can see here that they have these little red flashing boundaries around the input and the output. So what we do to fix that is we connect a power directly to the input of a NAND gate. Either an AND gate or a NAND gate's logic will not be affected by the addition of an additional power line because of course it requires everything to be on in order for it to change its state. But that's just about it. As long as you can keep track of which gates need to be inputted from other gates and which gates need to be independently powered, you shouldn't really have that much issue with it. If you want any more information particular to logic gates, I'm going to leave some information in the description below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or better yet, subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.